Good morning. Um, it is the last day of Paris Fashion Week. Very sad, I've had a good time. Um, I'm joined by Callum Knight, and we've just come out of the Chanel show. Um, as I'm sure you all know, Carl Lagerfeld recently passed away, and so this was to be the last um, Chanel show that he's had any, any input in. Um, so already very emotional. Um, I think we all came quite emotionally charged to the venue, which is the Grand Palais every season. Um, and it, the Grand Palais gets transformed um, every season. Last season we had beautiful beachside, <coughs> wonderful south of France, um, the Riviera vibes. Um, and this season we could tell from the invite that it was gonna be a slightly frostier affair. Um, and when we arrived, snow everywhere and the most amazing scene of an kind of alpine village uh, ski village lots of apres ski and chalets everywhere some chanel skis stuck in the snow and little lampposts and very rural very wonderful there's even smoke coming out of the chimneys of the houses because Karl Lagerfeld doesn't do anything in halves <laughs> um and already there's this sense of wonderment and you do get a real um sense of wonder at a chanel show because it's there's a, there's so much money thrown at this <laughs> that it's so fun. It is fantastic. It's like being on a fantasy set, um, and B because it's such an emotional, um, emotional day for everyone. Um, and so what followed was a minute silence for Carl, which was really wonderful, and um, I'm really glad they did that actually because um, that didn't happen at Fendi. Um, and then um, Carl's voice played over the top, um, which was all in French, so I didn't catch much. But there was a line in English where he said that this collection was supposed to be like walking through a painting um, and it very much was a dreamscape so um, what followed was beautiful beautiful um, Chanel versions of ski wear and outerwear um, um, but really done through the vein of tailoring and sleek lines so the first three looks I believe or four even um, were really beautiful wide leg trousers and houndstooth, wonderful um, little chapeaus and then some really great caping over the top but in clashing so Cara Delevingne opened in a Czech wide leg um, kind of power suit with beautiful um, houndstooth cape down the back and then what followed were more beautiful tailoring so plays on that boucle jacket that we, we know and love but in wonderful um, wonderful trim shapes and the wide leg was just really beautiful um, it was also quite emotional to see um, all of kind of Carl's girls so the, the, all the celebrity front row was Chanel girls and models and close confidants and then the, a lot of the women walking were Cara and you spotted Kira Knightley and, and Penelope Cruz actually came out later as well so there's this real sense of family and friends and everyone coming to show support for the house and pay respect to Carl which was really beautiful actually um, lots more really fantastic clothes as well what I thought was really brilliant this time around and, and sometimes I feel like is a miss with the Chanel show is that there's a really good balance this time of fantasy and reality and normally you're kind of lost in this dreamscape of wonder and the Chanel clothes are so beautiful and fantastic but you really find it difficult to pinpoint what you would buy from that or you find it difficult to take apart you're kind of lost in the fantasy of Chanel but actually this season they've done such a wonderful job at kind of statement jumpers for a slightly younger bracket and um, wide leg trousers and pantsuits which are so work, work wearable um, and then these really fun plays on what would be ski wear but actually incredibly um, perfect for day wear and, and incredibly approachable if that makes sense um, so beautiful silk dressing gown um, coats with a typical Chanel chain but with pearls um, and then some really great Chanel versions of kind of fair isle knits and argyle knits with the uh, number five for Chanel in between them but but normally what happens at Chanel is that's that's then given another like diamante level and you find it a little bit difficult to f figure out how that would fit in your wardrobe but actually the predominant budget allowing predominantly <laughs> the majority of this collection is super wearable and the girls are wearing wedges um, and thick shearling boots which were brilliant um, and so that again is this fantasy reality so they are in a snowstorm but often what happens is Chanel is they're in like giant stilettos on the beach and I like that they were in wedges and stomping boots because it just makes you you can put yourself in this situation a little bit more um, and then the finale looks were some beautiful kind of puff 
they look like sugar plum fairies um wonderful white and beautiful textures and feathers and some snowflake gold embroidery on the final look um and penelope cruz was wearing a beautiful what looked like cashmere jumper that then went into a fantastic feathered puff and she was waving a rose and it was just it was just beautiful i th actually think this is one of the best chanel shows i've ever seen um and the color palette the beiges the hot hot pinks we actually got given some really great so every chanel show you get given some um beautiful images so this was one of the things i'd actually written down which is i believe this is trump trump louis um a waistcoat boucle waistcoat over a jumper which i thought was really strong and then there's another look for the final this is the final look i'm trying to describe um which is these wonderful sequined and the puff as well so Penelope Cruz was wearing a puffed version of this um just a really really strong collection and to close it they had the same song they had for um Fendi which was Heroes by David Bowie so I really like that oh yeah so this is the beautiful wide leg trousers and the adaptation of the puffer jacket that I thought was really fantastic that flow on the trouser is just beautiful but yeah so the David Bowie I was really pleased that they mimicked Fendi there because it's nice to just have, have that continuity and that duality of respect if that makes any sense it just means they're both kind of honoring each other and saying we both lost a really great man and influence so it was incredibly moving. I think a lot of people were moved to tears. I know a lot of the models were crying. Um, certainly in our section, yes. <laughs> a lot of wet eyes in the house. Um, Kyle, what did you think? I just thought what was really exciting about this collection is sometimes Chanel can get, as you say, like wrapped up in itself and a bit fuddy-duddy in its own way and so, it's so over the top. But obviously with this last collection that we just had, I imagine it was a pretty hard time in the studio and they were just trying to make something that felt right, not necessarily for Chanel, but for Carl, mm. which actually translated into an amazing collection for Chanel because it was less involved in itself and the set. It just took that one step back. Yeah. And the line felt a lot more modern in this. For sure. And like, you know, the the um, boot clays, lots of them were less fussy, kind of tone on tone, flat. So more, which allowed it to be more sculptural because normally you have these huge flecks of gold coming out of them and obviously we had that in the right places here but actually also some of the kind of puffer jacket stuff that had the boucle had very flat, just two-tone you know, and it was just a bit cleaner which actually was really, really exciting it just felt like this more modern line there's a look in here somewhere um, there was a jumper that had a curved neck you know what I'm talking about with then all these pearls that just felt incredibly modern and this line followed down and curved back around and it just felt you know yeah. a bit okay. more right for the time cleaner is probably the good word because it certainly wasn't minimal yes <laughs> by no means <laughs> but yeah cleaner's right you can really get an eye for the line and the cut this yeah which you, you can normally but um really more so this collection and I think you're right when you say it must have been a really difficult time to make this collection and I think Virginie who is taking over is going to be doing yeah I think great she'll things. I think she'll do incredibly incredibly well she's been with them for 30 years and um as we saw you know with Sarah Burton and with Queen I think it will be business as usual for a while she'll, and she'll start to bring in and understand and you know, she's, you know, it's not like she's coming up from being an intern. She's been yeah. working at the top of Chanel. So the Chanel that we know and believe, whilst obviously so much to do with Carl, is also so much hers already. So I think we'll, it'll be business as usual for a while and she'll slowly get to the point where she might start to change some things and, yeah. you know, slowly bring in her own voice, but respectfully. And that was also what I thought was lovely, is I was worried. I mean, obviously Chanel's going to do everything super chicly and lovely in a lovely way but obviously it's not a very um this doesn't happen very often so i didn't know you know would there be images of him i didn't know how yeah, the show were going to work it I but it was so it. respectful so respectful everything obviously they would be but you know yeah i mean you expect that from chanel <laughs> but um ultimate class yeah but i i think everything from the clothes to the music the music um michelle gobert does the music every season and normally there's a little bit of it aside from the david bowie normally there's like a little bit of a like pop tunage to it or that they, they like yeah. sprinkle some other bits and bobs in there but this was strictly kind of beautiful classical whimsical a whimsical, yeah. little bit of wind chime and that too I thought was really yeah. nicely done it was all just very like elegant and respectful um, and modern I think yeah I would also we should say all the models actually came out 
at the beginning for the moment of oh, for yeah, the minute true. of silence. Yeah. And then they all stood there, so you could see all of them, and they slowly took their turn, which I thought was really beautiful. Yeah, really nice. Apart from the last four looks, who came out separately. Yes. Yeah. Um, and yeah, we got given these, which says, "The beat goes on." That was yeah. That's yes, yes. That's yes, a beat. Yes. I suddenly looked. <laughs> I was like, "Oh God, well, it doesn't say that." Yeah. Um, and it's um, Carl and Coco. Gabrielle Chanel. I think I'm going to frame mine. Yeah, so am I. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think that's a nice note to end on. The beat goes on. Um, and what a good beat it is. Yes. We're really thrilled. Thank you very much, Chanel. Um, and thank you guys for watching. Um, we'll see you guys very soon. Um, last day of Paris, so a few more reviews to go. <laughs> Stick with us. <laughs> um, we'll see you guys very soon. Thank you.